Now, this shooting comes as city leaders are working to get illegal guns off the streets. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Yolanda Harris. And I'm Andrew Kinsey. Just hours ago, the city brought in the feds to help provide resources and technology to help track guns and catch killers. New at 11, 10 TV's Richard Solomon spoke to one local activist who says the extra help is much needed. Richard. Yolanda, Andrew, Rob Carter has made it his life's mission to end gun violence within his community. He told me this evening he's confident what city leaders are doing will resonate with young people. When he's done with the day, Ralph Carter finds himself here. Most of the things you see are for the youth. You know, stuff that we can give out to some of our youth leagues that are working with kids. From activities to making sure they have what they need. Yet the most valuable thing he gives to kids is what he tells them. I tell them that, you know, a bullet is forever. Um, there's no 401k plan of hanging out in the streets. Carter does all this to keep kids away from gun violence because it's taken too many young lives. They're more receptive now, knowing that they see a lot of their friends falling uh, victim to gun violence. Um, but again, they still, you know, one foot in, one foot out. What will it take, do you think, to get that other foot out for good? Um, consistency. Consistency. Of the 12 homicides that have occurred this year, two were committed by 14-year-olds. That city leaders are working on. Leaders say the majority of guns used by teens are stolen. On Thursday, they announced new ways to get guns off the streets. The three-part plan includes working with the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms, devoting $5 million from the capital budget to expand the Federal National Integrated Ballistic Information Network, and open a regional crime gun and intelligence center. Collaboration is at the root of what we've discussed here, but we need everybody else in our community to step up to protect our young people in particular. And that's a challenge Carter accepts, no matter how many hours of the day it'll take. The funds and stuff is good, um, putting the bodies and the necessary personnel where everything needs to be to get these guns out these babies' hands, but I think we're moving in the right direction, but we just need to move a, qu a lot quicker. And listen to this. Columbus police say 60 illegal guns have already been seized so far this year. They say on average that's nine guns a day off the street. Yolanda?